And welcome to News Now. We're taking you out to Dallas right now where there is a police chase happening right now. Viewer discretion is advised. You can see police pursuing this uh, suspect in the white pickup truck right now and it's oh it's getting right there on the median right there onto oncoming traffic as this uh, suspect is really taking some high risks right now if you're just joining us here we are part of the fox 10 and news now on fox 10 extra thank you so much for joining us here this is this breaking a news alert here of this wild police chase happening we've been only with it for the first two minutes here but this suspect is really driving aggressive and really erratic that is not a good combo when it comes to chases here so we are hoping for the very best for the community here as well as the police officers that continue to chase this suspect. No words yet on why the suspect is on the run right now, but usually it has to do with a stolen vehicle or some sort of situation like that. But you can see this driver really cutting in and out of lanes right now, no problem whatsoever, disregarding all of the rules of the road right now and look at this just just continues to aggressively drive right now trying to evade the police so many people ask me and they say mike there's so many cameras right now on this suspect why do they continue to run and i always say it's it's because they're trying to to really extend their last moments of freedom here they they know eventually they're going to get caught but why not extend it for another 5 10 15 maybe even an hour if they can but what they're doing is they're so selfish because they are putting so many people's lives at risk when they continue to drive like this we see it so many times with these types of police chases where if you remember earlier this year in Tempe we had a bad crash that re resulted from a police chase a crash that uh, was right near ASU when that intersection when they collided there in the intersection with just a look at this now we're going oh wow wow so viewer discretion is advised everyone we don't know what this suspect is going to do once they finally do get out of the car or crash We'll continue to follow this here for you right now. News alert for you in Dallas, Texas right now. Thanks so much for joining us here on the stream. And now this is a, a true live picture that we are getting here for you. True live right now. White pickup truck on the oncoming traffic going the wrong way right now. You can see people are having to dart out of the way as they try to get out of this way of this white pickup truck. He's going the wrong way right now. Viewer discretion heavily advised here. We don't know what this suspect is going to do next, everybody, but you can see, okay, it looks like they're almost gonna hit somebody. This is getting close. Our Pilar Arias now joining us here for a little bit more play-by-play -play of what's happening in Dallas. Hi, good morning, everyone. So it appears that this started in Collin County, Texas, and now is in a North Dallas neighborhood. You can see this white truck here kind of swerving between lanes, um, breaking some traffic laws, of course. I'm trying to see what color that light is there that he just blew through, and you can't tell. Uh, in Texas, traffic lights are horizontal. They're not vertical like in most other states, so a little different there, but we uh, we're not getting a whole lot of information. KDFW is providing us these aerials. There's Skyfox out there. And we can just watch and hope for the best. Yeah, we're hoping for the best for the community there, the people that are out on the road. They have no idea what's going on until it's too late. You can see them trying to swerve out of the way when this truck gets very close to them right now. And we've, we've been seeing just how erratic this driver is by going on oncoming traffic. He has no patience. Look at, he is just trying to dart as soon as he sees a car in front of him right now. And uh, we're still trying to get some more word on why this suspect is on the run, but usually it has to do with a stolen vehicle or some sort. Okay, and look at it. He's going to go back on oncoming here on the median right no. now. No. Wow. So uh, let's hope for the very best. But in the, the worst part about any chase is when they go through um, when they just start running red lights and they go through those intersections that's when those accidents are going to occur but look at I mean he's on he's on the wrong side of the road right now these drivers are having to dart look at this look oh. at this so 
This is going to get bad very fast. Viewer discretion is advised. This is not a good recipe right now when we have a chase that is going on. And then you've got to wonder too, Pilar, just how much longer police are going to want to follow this person because obviously he is getting very erratic as they are following him. Yes, Fox 4 News taking a Twitter to say the chase continues on Northwest Highway near Preston Road. So if you are in Dallas or you know anybody who is, please spread the word. This driver, you do not want to be around him. No, you don't want to be around him. In fact, you want to be on the, the direct opposite area of this person right now. We don't know what this guy is going to do next. You figure he's already running from police. What else is he going to do? It, it seems like he has no care in the world about anybody but himself right now. We see that so many times with these suspects here. Looks like he's now, on a dead end. Yeah, it looks like some sort of dead end here, but he's going to make it. Hop the curb. He's hopping a curb right now with that big pickup truck and now going back on a traffic here. Looks but like that could be Park, that street right there. Mike, these guys always get caught. You wonder what goes through their head. Yeah, yes, yeah. And, and like I was saying, they, oh. No. Oh, wow. wow. I, and I'll tell you this too much, Blar, uh, is we cover chases here all the time, but I haven't seen a chase in a while like this where this guy is just so erratic, taking so many chances. Usually, they'll uh, they'll try to evade the police the best they can, just doing high rates of speed, but staying in their lane, especially if they're on a highway here. Now we're just losing sight, uh, sight right now from this overhang right now. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what uh, Sky Fox can do for us right here in Dallas right now. Mike, the last chase we had here on News Now was in uh, Glendale, California, mm. and that's when the suspect went into a uh, mall parking garage and then right. lost sight, well, but there here's he the truck. Is. Now we found him again. You're right, yeah, so the, the one that is in Glendale where that, that person went into the parking garage there, so we don't know what this guy or girl is going to do. We this don't know. This looks like a shopping complex there. Perhaps Tuesday morning is a store. Um, up a ramp. This looks like this could be a parking garage yeah. situation as well. Oh yeah. no. So it could be another parking lot structure. Maybe he didn't even want to get in this area. It seemed like he was he was lost at the moment here. Friendly reminder, everybody, viewer discretion is advised. It looks like he's on the top level of a parking structure. Not quite sure exactly what might happen here. So yeah. if we may have to pull out, we will. Just so we don't want to show anything that's going to be bad for TV here. Viewer discretion is advised. You just don't know what the suspect's going to do. Yeah. A lot of twists and turns but here. Look, is he getting out? No, it nope. looks like he's Reverse. trying to back up a little. But uh, it looks like from this point, we haven't seen any police in the background um, within the last five minutes. It, they could be just letting the chopper take a look at this because they, they see just how crazy this driver is right now and the suspect is. That's a huge building there. It's gotta yeah. be an office building. Most likely is. All right, so it looks like he so it looked like he was uh, lost in that area, didn't know that he was going into a parking structure and had to pull out. Stop pulling into that area, but there he is. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue to watch this folks if you are just watching with us here, we started this coverage about seven minutes ago of this police chase happening. Mike, we might have audio from there, someone in Skyfox in Dallas that we can listen in on. All right, so we'll see if we could get some audio there in a little bit from that chopper though. But continuing oh, to there. watch here. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, threw a bag. So he threw a bag over here. Hop in the fence. Wearing gloves, it looks like. Yeah. Or at least one. So suspect now on the run. Viewer discretion here is advised. As he has now ditched the vehicle. <laughs> cutting through some sort of, uh, looks like a apartment like complex apartments, yeah. right now. And he's trying to get lost. Now the scary situation here is hopefully he doesn't try to take anybody uh, hostage here or go inside of an area there. That could that could be very, very bad. Oh my, that near the pool, you think that could be the apartment complex office? Yeah, yeah, so this is uh, some sort of an apartment complex there. It looks maybe right by a leasing office there. And you can see police now continuing to try to locate this suspect here. Your discretion heavily advised right now, yes. everyone, as we continue to show you Skyfox aerials here. 
live on news now of this police chase the suspect ditched the white pickup truck you can saw him hopping some fences there and now going into this apartment area hopefully he's not getting into a a room right here or somebody's somebody's home makes you wonder what was in that bag that he had to take with him yeah it looked like maybe it could have been a, some sort of a burglary suspect you said he had uh, gloves on too i saw at least one but yeah it looked like a backpack or some sort of bag so who knows what was in it but Sky Fox doing the best to keep an eye on him, but with all these buildings and trees out there. Yeah, so our uh, hope for the very best there for the officers, so they stay safe, the community stay safe, and hopefully they can get this bad guy uh, in custody soon. Yes, absolutely. We'll continue to monitor the situation, trying to see if there's any new tweets about it. Driver in stolen truck leads police on high-speed chase. That's coming from Fox 4 in Dallas see if there's any additional information they can tell us. McKinney police are chasing a suspect in a stolen white pickup truck. The suspect drove south on Highway 75 through Allen and Plano, which are suburbs of Dallas, into Dallas. He went west on Interstate 635 and then started weaving through the streets of Dallas. We saw it here live on News Now. There are reports of at least one crash as a result of this chase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the way that guy was driving, uh, it, it's remarkable that more people didn't get hurt when you were taking a look at that. And that was just so, so mad crazy to think like that that suspect was taking so many so many chances we'll show a little bit of uh, a, a replay here for you this everyone. officer looks pretty calm if that is an officer could have been somebody with an apartment complex so what I'm gonna do in the in the left corner of the screen I'm going to put just moments ago and then we'll continue to watch this coverage here but you're taking a look there on the left of just how erratic that driver was a little bit ago. That's a very large apartment complex. It looks like it could be on a lake, some sort of water there. So folks that are just joining us here on the right, that's your live uh, aerials right now. To the left is just moments ago. I'll clarify that in the lower third there for you as we continue to provide you this coverage here on News Now. <laughs> Friendly reminder to everyone watching. Officers are there on the scene trying to get the suspect on foot. Weapons could be drawn any moment here. You could see it. Yeah, that's the that's what we don't want to see, and that's why we always gotta say uh, these police officers from around the country, you don't know what kind of call they're gonna go on. Yeah. When they start their day, they don't know what kind of day it's going to be, and then they have to just react. They got to react to suspects that want to get away. They don't want to get caught. You don't know this could be their third strike and they're going to get put away for a while. You just don't know what kind of it, it, mindset they're having. Believe me, they want to get away so bad that some of them, they'll just start killing cops. A lot of times in police chases, they, you know, chase the plate you know, who owns the vehicle. But in this case, when it's a stolen truck, it's hard to identify exactly who's behind the wheel. So don't know exactly where this truck was stolen from, but that's what he's wanted for. Yep. So that's what he's wanted for. And you could see that he didn't want to give it up. He was trying everything to evade and he was taking some big, big chances there. And it's amazing that more people didn't get injured in, in some of these, uh, when you're taking a look at him, weaving in and out of lanes, going to oncoming traffic. I mean, it was almost like unbearable to watch at times. You were thinking there was going to be some sort of impact, but didn't see from our angle. Okay, so now we're getting a better shot here. It looks like officers still looking uh, for the suspect. So uh, the our Dallas sister station saying that this apartment complex is just south of Walnut Hill for those familiar with the area. Let's see here. You can imagine officers probably combing the complex now at this point saying, hey, did you see him? Right, yeah. The worst case scenario would be that he got into somebody's place and is going to be in there for quite some time. You don't know. We had that situation in Orlando. Yeah. The hostage situation. Yeah, so you don't know what's going to happen, what, what's happening in the mind of a, a suspect that just wants to continue to get away from police here. But we're taking... Live look here for you on the right. If you're just joining us here on News Now, welcome. Police chase 
wrapping up there in wow. Dallas, but they can't find a suspect right now as he uh, ditched the vehicle and then went into some sort of apartment complex there. And to the left, you're looking at what just happened moments ago of when that police pursuit continued on there in Dallas. Mike, that looked like that could have been, I believe it's called DART, the Dallas Area Rapid Transit. It's like we, we have a light rail here in Phoenix. That's their version of it. Looked like that's just what just went by that apartment complex even. So, you know, could be putting lots of people's lives at risk here. Very, very scary situation. Yeah, he was hopping some fences there, no doubt. And um, then we lost him there as those buildings are very tight together there. And it was hard to get a Sky Fox visual for you. So, folks, we are going to continue to monitor this here for you right here on News Now. Don't go anywhere. Will they catch the suspect, or is he going to go in another vehicle? Perhaps we don't know. More News Now coming up next, everyone.